that when it is Suresh Kumar and the discussion of to suit product service division looking after South Asia region. See, I see a huge opportunity on internet of things because now we when we talk about doing anything smartly related to using an internet, be it a smartphone or a smart now we are talking about smart cities. Now smart cities uh, the people want convenience where uh, your home appliance devices get connected to your mobile phones, your cars and so on and so forth. So why do we talk about convenience? Now the convenience have come out with a safety. So we see huge opportunity in terms of with the global expertise, ensuring safety of the devices and also ensuring that these devices don't interfere each other, is environmentally friendly and so on and so forth. So Tutsu is here to capture this market with our global exposure already available from Europe and US, we already brought that expertise to India. So we are fully prepared. IoT is an evolving area and hence the, the standards also are evolving. The WPC, uh, which is the body uh, of government of India, which regulates uh, the wireless products, they have certain uh, regulations, uh, and then these regulations also evolve in regulations. Now, but basically, what it, it it asks for the safety of the products number one, and also safety of the radio, the frequency what it, it emits. Uh, these are two of the basic things. So uh, the as I said, standards is addresses but I'm sure this will evolve in much better fashion and also which can the, the, the normal consumers can relate to. Uh, now as we um, talk about the wearable devices, now it covers about so many components. It has basic material, could be a textile, it could be plastic, it has electronic components and then you also have internet of things. So it's a combination of everything. Now, we are prepared to, we, we, we are actually partnered with the Wearable Technology Association globally. We are their most preferred partner to ensure the quality of the products. So, if, for example, if it is made up of a textile or plastic material, we are able to ensure that when you wear those, whether does it affect your skin, does it have any uh, toxic elements which can damage your skin or can create any problems for your body. Now comes to uh, any wearable device have a battery or certain circuits where we could we could ensure that whether the safety is ensured as per different standards. There are uh, our Indian standards, there are European standards, uh, and different standard various safety parameters. Now we also have a wireless element for important as for Internet of Things where it talks about uh, uh, the, the safety of the, the frequency, whether it interferes with other equipment and so on and so forth. So we have test type specific absorption test as a test type electromagnetic or magnetic test. So we are going to the whole package of the wearable devices with our various expertise of labs and so also you have the issue of cost affordability and there comes a lot of products that come to the market. If everybody is not able to probably afford it a branded uh, smartphone so people want to have that technology with convenience but the only way I want to me to, to stop this would be to bring cost competitiveness start manufacturing in India now for, for example right now India is not well known for a high-end smartphone we are market for probably a lower smartphone but things are cheap so once people manufacture this high-end products in India the cost will come down and people could afford a better product now, you may not use a wearable device, not just because of it is, its core functions not happening, maybe if the body is damaged, you may not use it. So when we test these products, we not only test the safety or uh, electromagnetic compatibility, we also test for the, for example, the mechanical integrity. And also we test for the how it will react to different climatic conditions. For example, if it is say corrode, if and if it is your, your appearance damage, people can use it. So uh, we have this testing program not only address safety but also address the other parts to see whether this products can be used for a uh, long time. It's really easy to simulate the conditions where these products are used. For. That's the basic principles of evaluating products. So for example, climatic conditions. We have climatic chambers that can simulate various conditions. You could adjust the temperature, you could adjust the humidity, 
uh, various other factors to similar those conditions. Even for example, within India, you know that different parts of India products have different conditions. So normally, what these products are tested the worst situation to see even the worst situation this performs. Okay, so it's only the worst situation has been evaluated, or that's the only evaluation criteria? No, see the, the whole idea is basically what you do in the evaluation product, you're doing a risk management. That's this one, on and on and on. So basically, you you normally consider the, the, the critical situations and then still see the products perform. The product perform in a critical situation, it is expected to perform on a normal situation. Now, see, you're right, we, were, we started as a steam boiler inspection company. And you know, we, we are a big way into inspecting lifts, elevators. But you're absolutely right that now the, the world is in a lot of things that you probably don't have to physically go and inspect properly. You can have a sensor and evaluate. In fact, we are we are doing various pilots and we are being actually successful uh, in implementing using a lot of things in our business because we know this is a future. Because your manual intervention could get replaced by this internet of things, and we are aware we are already working in many areas using these technologies.